Hey, what's going on, Internet? Zyjax here, coming at you with another Mega Man Battle Network 4 video. Last time, Lan and Mega Man went inside the Castillo, the Castillo, I don't know what to call it, uh, the Castillo Network to go take out some viruses. And uh, they believe that it was purposely sabotaged. Anyway, what are we doing? Oh, wow. Okay, we gotta go find Meilu. What's up, girl? So it looks, like, it looks like the rides are back up. Let's get some ice cream before we go on the rides. Ice cream? Of course! You have to have ice cream in a place like this. Mela, are you just looking to just... Just hurl your, your brains out when you go on rides? I mean... You're not gonna feel too good. No, yes, you do. Now go get me some... What? I have to buy it. Man! When you're on a date, you have to do stuff like that. That's just the rules of the game. So meta! <laughs> wow, this dating stuff is a pain, huh? All right, so we gotta go get um, the ice cream, which I believe is over this direction. Uh, two ice creams, please. Sure, here you are. Uh, you work at Higsby's. Ah, you're from ACDC Town. Well, I pretended I had a tummy ache so I could come here. The pay's better here, you know. It's only for today, and you mustn't tell Higsby, okay? I'll give you, free, I'll give you a free ice cream for it. Really? Great. Yeah, I got. Ice. Uh, needless to say, Melu is not going to be too happy because we're getting ice, not ice cream. All right, Melu, here's your freaking ice. That was delicious. Oh, apparently she's fine with just ice. It's ice cream. I know they're condensing the name. You're welcome. Luckily, it's freeze. These dates could get expensive. Lan, shut up! You're freaking loaded! You just, you pick up money all over the place from the net. Just for killing viruses. Lan, come on, qu quickly! Okay, okay. What are they, what are they doing now? Uh, they're hanging out at the gift shop. Wow, look at this. I think I'll buy it for Yai. And, this, and look at this doll, Lan. Don't you think it's cute? Uh, yes. This is cute? Just nod your head and say yes, Lan. That's all you gotta do. Look at all these people waiting. Well, it is Den City's first theme park. Lan, we're next. Now get it on. Our turn. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Kid frickin' there losing his mind. I think they're on the rides. They're on a water ride. That was great. My heart is still beating like a drum. Let's get on let's get on the next one. Looks like Jurassic Park. Wait for me! That guy seems to be very content just staring at the sign. Another water ride. They sound like they're having fun. I've been looking forward to this castle. But it's still not ready. Let's come back again when it's open. Good idea, let's come back again. Sure, there are still more rides I want to see. I've heard that the, that the Vampire Manor is still pretty scary. It's in Mel... It's in Mel Square? Let's go there next. Smell Square? Mel Square, you, you freaking idiot. Okay, let's go. <laughs> wait, wait, Mayu! Alright, so now we gotta head over there. Um... I believe it's in here. Yes, it is. And it is super spooky in here. This is actually really critical because I believe um, you actually have to kind of memorize the uh, locations here. Well, not necessarily the location, but you do kind of have... Suddenly, a weird ghoul comes from the depths of its mouth. Surprise attack throws you off balance. Some letter letters... Ooh, a lot of numbers. Probably ought to write that down. Anyhow, but yeah, you kind of have to remember uh, where uh, the, you have to remember the path layout here for later.
Where's Melu? She should have come up, or she shouldn't have come if come in if she's scared. Doesn't seem like she's scared. Yeah, that was Melu, right? But if she's gone ahead, then I have to finish it alone. That's right. Don't get too scared, Lan. Yeah, you little pussy. I'm scared already. Yeah. All right. Well, you suck. Here we have Django the Solar Boy here. A uh, bit of a tie-in there. Ooh, I got a battle chip from that. Oh, the whole thing's a story about Django. That's interesting. The whole thing just rumbles when I step on it. That was terrifying. Where's Melu? Help! What's wrong? The toy robos in Mel Square have gone out of control. They're starting to attack children! Oh no. Oh uh, yeah, that thing would, um... That'd be pretty scary. That thing's got an axe. It'll, that could kill somebody. Jack into it and then press the stop switch. Good. We can jack in Mega and let's go. Halo, are you okay? I'll save you! Be careful, Lan. Don't worry. Jack in, Meg Man. Execute. Bing. I don't have anything to hold on to. I should probably find something to hold on to when I. So the way this works is, uh... <coughs> excuse me, still getting over the cold. It's not as bad as it was before, but anyhow, the way that this works is, uh, I get to go through this whole ride thing here, and I got to talk to this guy. But there's parts of the story. That are missing, so the thing, so the robot doesn't know what it's supposed to be doing. So it's going nuts. Anyhow, if I can just remember the story, I, sh I should be able to for the most part. Yeah, there's also like parts of the story that you're supposed to bring back to like these walls here. And um, for some reason, Halberd Princess loved a huge axe. However, she had been acting very strange. Always used for wood or wood cutting before, she now used her axe for blank. And she also fretted over her appearance. She seemed to be in love in, in love with Prince Tomahawk. A bit is missing. Ah, I see. The plot doesn't flow correctly. So the toy robot went berserk. What should I do? The missing bits of story data are under this passage. Bring them back here and set them on in the door to open the path. Okay. Be careful. Some of the story data is wrong for this plot. Be sure to choose the correct data. And not like the one, and not like here on the raft. There's lots of viruses. Why don't you do something about that? I mean, that's 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 dangerous, man. All right. Um. Seeing as I've read this like about a billion times before in the past, I mean, I just, I have a pretty good idea what it what what it is. Um. Dang it. And I can't run from these guys. Same setup as before. Can I run? What do you know? I can. All right, let's put it in there. See if it works. All right. For some reason, Halberd Princess loved a huge axe. However, she had been acting very strange. She'd always used, always used for wood cutting before. She now used her axe as a comb, and she for always for makes. Well, both of them would have made sense. No, it was not correct. It was actually a mirror. Dang it. All right, let's try this one. Yeah, yeah. All right, that was correct. All right, we can now go on off again. All right. Um, a witch was jealous of Halberd Princess's or Halberd Princess's beauty and kidnap uh, or and strength. Wow, why girl really can't read today? Uh, she kidnapped her beloved tomahawk and sealed him in a blank when she heard Halberd Princess departed alone to save her prince. I don't think I did a very good job of, of uh, reading that very well. Go away. I got away. More BMD here. HP plus 50. Probably throw that on real quick. Yep. No problem. Even though we're still 160, it, it just expands the, the maximum HP. 
Um, I believe it was a, he sealed him in a tree. A big tree. Yeah, it was a big tree. It makes, well, I mean, it only makes sense. She has an axe. Get the hell out of my way. Alright. Get the big tree. I believe that works. Alright, use the big tree and blah, 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 blah. Okay, that was right. Next. Wah! The witch had been used her power to create a dense forest, but Helbert, that princess, used her act to penetrate deep through the trees. Eventually she came through or she came to the huge tree that held Tomahawk. Using the very last of her strength, she unleashed her blank on the huge tree, and before she knew it, the tree had split in two, and her beloved Tomahawk emerged within saying, I have never seen such beauty and power in a girl. Helbert Princess was taken aback at first. But the prince's warm, bright smile put her at ease, and blah, blah, blah. Blah. Um. I don't know. I'm gonna have to guess here. Get the hell out of my face, would ya? you? Can't stop me. Alright, um. You have found Storm Kiss? No, that's definitely not right. Uh, Lecture? No. Probably this last one here. That'll be Mighty. EL, I'm gonna say my I'm gonna guess that's a mighty blow. Alright. Finish up here and bloop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was correct. And there's the switch. How much you wanna bet there's a virus? Ha ha ha! I called it! We got uh, some angry looking viruses here. Or I can kick the. I'm about, to, about to kick the crack bottom of here. No, no, you're not gonna. You're not gonna avoid that so easily. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Well, that was easy. Holy crap. Alright, land, I pressed the stop switch. Good, Toy Robo seems to have fully stopped. Sounds like there's another one in the center square. Yeah, you thought it was over. No, um, there's like four of them. Okay, we got the whiz dog here. I think I remember this one a little bit better. No, if I remember correctly, it was the whiz dog and some other animal, and they get their uh, powers taken away. Maybe because he lost the because he's the story or because he's lost the story that he is the hero of. I have no idea what will happen, but whatever. Whatever. Let's just get going. Whiz dog was a magical dog. He looked like a normal dog, but he was a skilled ma magician. Although popular in the river town of, of Renis, Whiz dog had one particular annoyance. This bitter rival was blank, also living in Renis. Equal in magical skill, they fought like cat and dog. Uh, I guarantee you it's not a cat. I know that much. There. God, freaking viruses! Alright, well this will work out fine. Back up. There, thank you. No, no. No more. Ah, crap. Try that one more time. There we go. Ah, you know what? Forget it. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna keep going backward. Ah, crap. I don't think that's even remotely the direction I was trying but hard to go, but whatever. That, that seemed to work. Hit something with it. I was trying to... I was going to get rid of the uh, the spiky there. Ouch. I have not united yet, so I probably ought to do that. Oh, 
Well, okay. Holy crap, I'm just getting the crap kicked out of me here. There we go. Don't worry, we're fine. We're gonna heal up here. Alright, uh, it's not Cat. I know that for much. I know that much. Wasn't the dra- I- Was well, not the dragon either, so I'm guessing it's the last one here. Um... Yeah, it was the monkey. Could have actually read the stories and actually figured out what what they were, but I mean, game kind of presses you to continue with the story. Get the hell out of my way, would you? Oh, oh, really? Oh, okay, fine. If you're not, I can just do. Never mind. I was gonna like, I was gonna back. Thinking I could back up enough. All right, I dare you to come at me, you little twerp. I win. And another heat shot. All right, put that in there. All right, I, I was I was correct. Move it. However, a certain incident required them to cooperate. An evil magician appeared one day in Renis. Although they both tried to chase off the wizard, he used his blank and had them almost defeated. Unable to use magic, they were just a dog and a monkey. Just dumb animals. Alright, um, Don't really remember what he is. I don't know, maybe I, maybe I can find something or I'll sound familiar. More HP memory, sweet. So now we're up to 230. Oh, what do you know? I still kept my uh, my full my full synchro there. All right, well, screw you. And seeing it's all grass, I might as well fire this off of them carefully. That would have been a good shot for that. That was a perfect shot for that. It does extra damage to them on the? Or it did. Double damage because I had full synchro and it does extra damage because they're on grass panels. You twerp. Alright, well. Wait for you to fire that off and. No! Get over here. You know what? I'm gonna have to take a hit on that, but you know what? He takes the L. Got um magical magic cell. Bad, bad joke. I think it was I think it was magic cell. All right, uh, got magic cell. Got him, and that was correct. All right, so I kind of remember this, even though I don't have don't have it memorized. With magic blocked by the wizard's attack. Wiz dog and Wiz monkey were in big trouble, but once their special power has been taken away. Their natural animal instincts were turned into flash. First, Wiz Dog used, his, used the blank, for which dogs are famous, trapping the wizard in a rapid spin. And then Wiz Monkey used monkey speed to cling to the wizard's face, and blank attack left the wizard's face a mess. To escape, the wizard turned into a bird and flew away. Cooperating two new partners had saved Renis. However, once their magical powers been restored, they returned to fighting him like cat and dog as usual. Two places are missing. That means two items of the story date are needed. The missing bits must be in, in must be set in place. So please bring two identical bits. Ah, oh, BMD over here. So I'm getting that. Galk, come on! You are just trying my patience today, you frickin' viruses. And of course, I can't. I can't run away. Well, fine. And that charge... Ow. That charge max really makes a difference. 
and maybe whoops hold on back up take both of them here if I can't do extra damage gotcha all right this guy should be no problem I'm gonna just spam a here there we go all right go and grab the BMD here and I'm gonna go ahead and stop here guys so if you guys like this video be sure to leave a like in the like box leave a comment if you like and we're not doing that outro anymore but anyhow, yeah, like, comment, subscribe down below. I will be seeing you in the next one. So thank you very much for watching. And God bless you all. See you in the next one.